Hi, welcome back to Vitality's Happy Half Term. Um, now, I hope the kids have lots of energy today. I'm sure they do, um, because we've got our fantastic karate class um, for the whole family today. Um, we've got our Vitality coach, Johnny, and our rugby star, James Rodwell, taking you through that today. Um, make sure you tag us in on all your pictures as well, because we've got one day left of the half term. Um, so let's make the most of it. And we have our prize draw, as always. <laughs> Yes. Welcome everybody, welcome to your karate class for um, this afternoon. I nearly said the morning, but it's not this morning, it is this afternoon. So thank you so much for joining us. We have a couple of special guests to introduce before we get started and learn some karate today. First off, we've got my fiance Kaylee, who is joining me today wearing the Vitality t-shirt, since I cannot wear it because I'm wearing my gi and my black belt today. We also have um, Kirsten and Imogen joining us. Do you want to pop them up on screen so we can give a big thumbs up? How are we doing? Hello. And then we also have our special guest for today, James Rodwell. So Rugby Sevens legend, silver medal at the Olympics, um, also Rugby Sevens coach to the stars nowadays as well. He's also a dad of two amazing kids. So we've got Oliver and George and James joining us today. How are you doing, James? Hi Johnny, hi everyone, thanks for having me today. Uh, yeah, we've got George here, can you say hello? Hi! And Oliver as well, give him a big wave, Holly. Yeah, boys are really excited, hopefully we're going to load loads off you, Johnny, so really looking forward to it. Nice, perfect, looking good, looking good, really looking forward to doing this, and I'm disappointed they didn't wear a, a, um, a dressing gown, we thought we were going to wear dressing gowns today, so we were all looking the same. No? Uh, we, we were going to, but we've only just got our pyjamas, so it was a, okay. a bit of a slow morning. <laughs> Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> is he fibbing? Is he telling lies? Oh. Right, so without further ado then, let's let's crack on. So today we're going to learn a bit of karate, but we're going to learn it in a bit of a fun way. So we're going to kind of build it into a little bit of a workout. But by the end of today, you'll know kind of how to punch properly, how to hold the fist properly. You'll know how to kick properly. And then at the end of the session, as I said, we'll build it into a bit of a workout and just really have a little bit of fun. We're not going to be punching or kicking anyone today. Karate is about self-defense, so it's about defending yourself if anyone was to attack you. It's not there for you to go and attack someone. So always remember that. So boys, don't want you attacking James today as much as you might want to, okay? <laughs> so what we're going to do first is we're going to just have a bit of a warm-up. Always important before we do any sort of activity to warm up. So let's just get jogging on the spot. Just to warm up, we're going to warm everything up, get the blood flowing, get everything moving. And while we're jogging on the spot, what we're going to do is just have the arms flying out everywhere just to get the elbows loose and the wrists loose a little bit. So karate started in Japan a long time ago. And karate is actually split into two words. So kara, which means empty, and te, which means hand. So karate actually means empty hand, which is why we don't use weapons and we just use our Use our elbows, fists, and our feet as well. So we're going to move into a lunge. So we're just going to step forward, come down nice and low. Take time. There's no rush. Just start to move everything, get everything warmed up. So I'm wearing what we call a gi today, which is a traditional karate outfit. And there are 10 belts as well. So you go all the way from white all the way up to black. And even once you've got your black belt, there's 12 levels of black belts. So I'm black belt level one. So first Dan, and it's taken me about, oh, I'd say five, five or six years to get my black belt. So it takes a little while, but it teaches you dedication, perseverance, um, and also obviously self-defense as well. Cool. So we're going to go into a walkout. So we're going to keep our arms and legs as straight as we can. Walk yourself out into a press up position. Then walk yourself back up to the top. And then squeeze your bum at the top, then back down. We're going to do this a couple of times just to stretch everything out. Nice. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Keep it up. One more. And one more to go. Perfect. Once you're at the top, stand there. We're going to go for some leg swings. So, of course, I'm going to teach you some kicks later today. So, we're going to need to warm up the legs a little bit. So, instead of doing a kick, we're just going to swing the leg. So, all we're doing, just swinging the leg out to the front, stepping down, and going again. Go for a few on one leg, and then change legs, and go for a few on the other leg. Just keep the leg straight, don't need to bend it, and then change legs when you're ready, 
go for the other leg as well. And I don't want any splitting of trousers or shorts or anything today. So don't worry about how high you kick. Just kick as high as you can. Don't pull any muscles. That's why we're warming up. And then you're going to twist to the side. So side on. You're just going to do the same again. Just lift the leg up as high as you can. Coming out to the side this time. Feel free to lean a little bit as well as you go. And then change sides when you're ready. Looking good already, everyone. Smashing it. Looking like experts already. Don't need any teaching. Nice. Cool. And then we're just going to warm up the hips one final time. We're just going to spread our legs apart a little bit, just in a nice wide stance. And then all we're doing is bending over, trying to touch the floor, and then coming back up to standing again. We're just going to keep moving up to the top, down to the floor. Nice and steady, looking good. So we should feel a nice little stretch on the inside of the hips. Feeling a bit like a, a chicken drinking out of some some water bending down and then back up to the top just go for one more one more and then we'll do some karate perfect so are we all warm give me a thumbs up if you're feeling a little bit warmer give me one more thumbs up yeah thumbs up nice yeah. Right. so we're going to learn some karate now so you might have noticed at the start I bowed to you all and that's what you do at the start of every karate class okay so we are now in a dojo so it's not in your living room, you're not in your conservatory, wherever you are at home, you're not there anymore. You're in what we call your dojo. So this is your training space. This is my dojo. Whenever you walk in your dojo, whenever you start any craft or start anything, you always bow. So we're going to go feet together, but pointing out slightly. That's it. Perfect. And then all you're going to do is have your hands down by your sides and then just bend to the hip, bow and then come back up. And what we say when we do that is a word which is us. So you say us as loud as you can. And that's oh, actually, nice, love it. And that's what we what it means is actually push and suffer. Again, it's two words, but that basically means it sounds a bit a little bit bad, doesn't it? You know, pushing and suffering, but it means that we're kind of dedicating ourselves and really pushing and trying to strive towards perfection as well. So we've now started, we've done our bow, practice again, us, come back up to the top. We're ready to go, loving it. So first thing I'm gonna teach you is how to hold a fist. So this is something people often get quite wrong, okay? So people, when we often make a fist, we might put the thumbs on the inside, but if we went to punch anything, we'd hurt our thumb because it's on the inside. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna curl your fingers up and then put your thumbs on top, just like that. And that is how we hold a fist and how we punch. And when we come to punch anything, we're actually using these two knuckles here. So that's where you want to punch, not on the side, because that would that would hurt your wrist and bend your wrist back. You're wanting to use the top two knuckles there. So that's how you hold a fist. For the rest of the session today, that is how we would hold um, our fist together. So what we're going to do first is we're going to learn some punches, nice and basic. So we're going to stand shoulder width apart. We're going to have both fists, as we've just learned, on our belt here or if you don't have a belt just about where a belt would be and you're going to have palms facing the ceiling okay and all we're going to do <clears throat> is punch out with one arm so there's a little twist at the end so you punch bring it out twist at the end that little twist just helps us create more power and then all we're going to do is switch and come back switch and come back don't forget that little twist at the end switch and come back so both our hands move at the same time it's a little bit confusing so one comes out one comes back and once you get a little bit better at it you can start using the hips so you can twist the hips a little bit just to get some more power in there so everyone's looking really good so we're going to go for 10 punches okay so i'm going to count as if you're all in the karate class we'd all be stood in a long line everyone like this punching to a count so we're going to do 10 punches and i'll speed it up as we go okay so we're just going to kind of go one two three all the way up to 10, we're gonna speed up as we go. Does that sound good? Sound good, easy peasy. Right, let's do it, let's do it. So hands on your belt, let's go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, speeding up, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, nice. So we're gonna go once more, 
But what I want you to do, <coughs> Jamie, if you want to unmute everybody, is we're going to do what we call a key eye. So you might have seen this if you've been watching Cobra Kai. Oh, but sometimes yeah. when we do when we do the last effort, we're going to shout. Okay, so a key eye just means like a shout. It's just kind of like a, a release of energy, and it also means that if anyone was to attack you, you're all sort of tensed up and ready to go. Does that sound good? Can you all give me like a good shout on number 10? Yeah, we can do that. Can you shout number 10? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you don't shout any words, you're just going to have a shout. So it's just like, yeah. A, ah! Okay? So that's what we're going to do on number 10. Are we ready? Are we ready? Let's do it. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! <laughs> Love it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Good work, everyone. So remember that. So remember, we've now learned our punches. What we're going to do now is we're going to move on to two kicks. So I'm going to teach you two kicks now. So the first one is called Maya Gary. So the kicks are all named something Gary. Gary just means kick. So... Maya Gary is a front kick. All we're going to do is kick out to the front. Most, the, Probably the easiest kick to learn. I'll show you from the side first. All you're going to do, have one foot behind the other. This is now your fighting stance. This is what we'll do for the rest of the day. So pick your favorite foot, whichever it is. Just have one in front of the other, whatever feels best. What we're going to do is the leg that's at the back, we're going to bring it up to about 90 degrees. We're going to snap and then come back down. So we're always stepping forward, okay? So it's going to come up, snap, come back down. It's always really important that you bring it back. So we don't want to leave it out and then drop down like so. We want to bring it back so we're recovered, ready to go, then step down, okay? So we're going to do, again, we're going to do 10 of those. We're going to do five on one leg, five on the other, but we're going to go a bit more slowly with this one because we can't go as quickly as we did on the punches. So... We're going to stand in your fighting stance when you're ready. We're going to go 10 front kicks. So we go five on one leg, five on the other, nice and slowly. Let's just start learning the kick, OK? So one, snap, step forward, and then recover. Number two, off we go. Nice, looking good. Three, good work. Keep it up. Four, so as you feel more comfortable with it, put some power in it, really push those hips. And five. Then change legs. So go on the other leg now. We all have one leg better than the other, so we've got to make sure we do both. And one. Stepping back. And two. Nice. Looking good, everyone. Smashing it. Three. Good stuff. And four. And then the last one. Number five. Cool. Perfect. So we're going to do one more round, but we're going to do it as if we're walking forwards, okay? So you're going to change legs each time. Take a bit of a step further back if you can. So you're just going to go across your room, doing as many kicks as you can, fitting into your room. And then we'll come back and then we'll move on to the second kick. Does that sound okay? Kicks are looking good, everyone. Absolutely awesome. Apart from Oliver. Get up out of the chair. Let's do some kicks. Let's do some kicks. Oliver, let's go. Let's go. So stepping back, one foot behind the other, and off we go. Just kicking across the room. Nice and steady, taking your time. Love it, looking good. Don't kick your laptop, whatever you do. Nice, good work. So that is our number one kick. Kick number two is what we call Mawashi Gary. So you might have seen this one before, but it's more of a roundhouse kick. So that kick was to the front. Now we're coming around to the side, okay? So for this one, all we're going to do is bring the knee up, similar to the other one, but we're going to bring it up round from the back this time instead of straight through. So we're coming round, and then just a little snap at the end again, recover, then step down, okay? So remember, we always recover, bring the leg back, then step down. So it looks something like this, like so, stepping back. It doesn't matter how high you can get your leg, just go at around about chest height if you can, then stepping down. Looking good. So we're going to go for five on one leg, five on the other. Same again. Then we're going to put everything together into a bit of a workout to finish off. So are we ready? Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go. So one, stepping down and then step back and recover. Two, nice. Looking good. Nope. Three, stepping on my Stanley banner. Two more. Four, nice. Last one. Last one. Almost there. And five. 
Good work. Change leg, change leg. I can't kick as high with this leg, but we're going to go for the other leg as well. Off we go. One. Stepping down. Nice. Looking good, everyone. Two. And stepping back. Three. Last two. Four. Final one. One more, one more. Best one. And five. Good stuff. So we're going to do the same as we did with the other kicks, and we're going to go across our room, just stepping, changing legs each time. So with this kick, just to remember as well, because I haven't said, with the first kick we did, you're wanting to kick with the, the ball of the foot here, so we were kicking out to the front. With this kick, imagine you're kicking a football, you're wanting to kick it with the lace, your laces of your foot as well, okay? So it's more of a kind of a planted foot, trying to kick someone with the laces on your, on your shoe. So we're gonna go down the room, just as many kicks as you can fit down your room when we're ready. Three, two, one, off we go. Down your room, take your time, no rush. Don't kick your laptop. Get as many kicks in as you can, keeping the arms up. Nice, looking good, James. You're wasted with rugby sevens, you should be doing karate. <laughs> nice, so well done, everyone. We've just got one more thing to do, and then we're gonna put it into a fun workout for the final 10 minutes, gonna get a bit out of breath, put everything into practice, okay? So the last thing we're going to do, nice and simple, is just learn how to block. We're not going to learn any official blocks, but we're just going to show you how to get out of the way and move something out of the way. So if you've ever seen Karate Kid, James, you must have seen this. Wax on, wax off, right? Everyone's surely seen that. Wax on, wax off. So all you're going to do is imagine someone coming towards you and punching. All you're going to do is just move out of the way and imagine pushing their hand out the way. It doesn't matter what hand you use, but just imagine pushing it out the way, stepping back, okay? So we're going to go for 10 of those. You're just going to stand in your fighting stance that we've learned, and you're just going to push out the way, move out the way. Doesn't matter where you go, you just move backwards and push out the way with either hand. Does that make sense? Give me a thumbs up if that makes sense. Looking good. Perfect. Cool. So going to go for 10 in your own time, just moving out the way. So one, Two, nice, move any direction. Three, four, five, six, nearly there. Seven, that's it, keep moving, keep moving. Eight, nine, 10, nice, good work. So we've learned how to punch, we've learned how to kick twice, and then we've learned how to block or move out of the way. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it all together into a workout. So we've got two rounds, we've got five, exercises per round and these are just going to be our punch our two kicks our block and then the final round is just going to be a combination of all of them put together doing absolutely anything you want punching kicking any of the ones we've learned today does that sound okay we ready to go ready to put it together into a workout nice right let me get my workout on my ipad here and we're going to go for it. So the first round is going to be 30 seconds on. So you're going to do 30 seconds of punches, okay? So remember the punches we learned at the start? You're going to go one leg forward, one leg back. You're just going to go around your room. It doesn't matter where you are. You can go in different directions. You can punch with the front hand. You can punch with the back hand. Don't worry about doing it from the belt anymore. You can just do it from here. But front hand, back hand, remember how we hold our fists, okay? You can do 30 seconds, just as many punches as you can around the room, moving around, and then we're going to have 30 seconds rest before we move on to the second exercise. That sound good? Everyone understand? Perfect. Cool. So, 30 seconds of punches. Get yourselves ready. We're on a countdown timer now. Seven seconds to go. So imagine you've got loads of people, loads of bad guys around you, and you're trying to punch them out of the way. Three, two, one. Off we go, off we go. 30 seconds, as many punches as you can. Moving around the room, doesn't matter where you are. Don't punch anyone, don't punch James, don't punch any other, anyone in the house. But imagine you've got loads of bad guys around you. We're halfway through, we've got 15 seconds left. Keep it going. One leg behind the other, keep that hand in a fist. 10 seconds to go. Punch, punch, punch. Keep it up, keep it up. All the way, all the way around. Three, two, one. And rest there. Don't know about you guys, but I'm knackered. Last round one done. So round number two, we're going to do the first kick we learned. Okay, so it's Maya Gary. So remember, it was just front snapping and stepping down. Okay, and you can do either leg, whichever leg you want to do. And the same again, you're just going to move around your room, doing one kick with the other leg, then change legs, 
then change whichever way you're kicking all around the room, kicking all those bad guys. Three, two, one. Off we go. Front kick, changing legs. Front kick, kicking all those bad guys. Nice, James, looking good. Don't kick. Oliver or George, looking good, looking good. Around the room, kicking all the bad guys down, keeping them at bay. Go, go, go. Push, push, push. We're almost there. Change legs each time. Keep moving, keep moving. Six seconds left. Hard work, hard work. Three, two, one. Looking good, Kirsten Imogen, and rest there. Good work. So that was the first kick we did. We're now on to the second kick. Remember, this one was Mawashi Gary. So this is a roundhouse kick. We're coming round. So first kick, we were coming through to the front. This one, we're coming around to the side, okay? So we're going to do, again, as many kicks as we can in 30 seconds. I'm out of breath. I can't talk. But we're going to do it, and we're going to smash it. So moving around as much as possible. Three, two, one. Off we go, off we go. Mawashi Gary, side kick, roundhouse kick, kicking all those bad guys. Imagine you're a superhero. Imagine you're a black belt in karate, kicking all the bad guys. Nice. Push, push, push. Keep it going, keep it going. All the way around the room. Don't stop, don't stop. All these bad guys all coming at you. You gotta kick them away. Keep it going. Nearly there, six seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest there. Good work, good work. So, round number four. We've got two more rounds. And then we have a bit of a bit of a break, and then we're going to go again a little bit different. So next round, remember we learned how to block. So all we were doing was moving out of the way, pushing the punches out of the way, stepping backwards. We're going to do the same again for anywhere around the room that you want, stepping away, parrying those punches away. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. Off we go. Go go go. Moving out of the way, moving around the room. Doesn't matter where you are. Pushing those punches away. Don't let those bad guys get you. Go, go, go. We're almost there. Keep it going, keep it going. Push, push, push. Stepping back. Love it. Good work, James, Oliver, and George. Keep going, Kirsten and Imogen. Let's go, let's go. Eight seconds left. Push, push, push. Step out of the way. Push the punch away. Three, two, one. And rest there. Good work. So, last round now. This round you can do whatever you want, okay? So you can do a combination of the punches, of the two kicks, of the blocks. Whatever you want to do, you can do it in this round, okay? 30 seconds of whatever you want to do. So you can do, you can block, you can kick, you can punch, you can do the other kick. You can do whatever you like. Get those bad guys out of your house. Get those bad guys out of the room. Punch them out. Avoid the punches. Kick them out. Whatever you want. Three, two, one. Off we go. Punch in. Kick in. Let's go, let's go. Don't let them punch you. Get out of the way of those punches and kicks. Let's go. Push, push, push. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. Halfway, halfway. Drive, drive, drive. Keep it going. Hard work, hard work. 10 seconds left. We're almost there. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax there. Woo! Are we tired, everyone? Are we tired? How are we doing? Give me a thumbs up if we're all good. Nice. Good work, everyone. Looking good. So we've got a minute's rest. And then we're going to do one more round of what we've just done. But we're going to make it a little bit different this time. So we're going to do, instead of 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest, we're going to do 45 seconds work. So we're going to throw more punches, more kicks, more blocks, and then only have 15 seconds rest. But what we need to do this time is move around a little bit more, okay? So we were quite kind of static before doing this. What we need to do is move forwards and backwards. Imagine you're sort of in a fight, doing whatever you're doing, and then you can punch and kick and change the height of your punches and kick. So we were probably all kicking at one height before, punching at one height, but what we need to do this time, move about more, but change the height of everything, okay? Kick low, kick high, do whatever you want, okay? Are we ready? Three, two, one. So we're on the punches. We're on the punches this time. So just punches, but moving around more, punching high, punching low, get nice and low to the ground, punch their shin, punch the head, all the different areas. No kicks. I threw a kick. Why did I do that? Keep going, keep going. Just punches, just punches. Keep going, keep going. Front hand, back hand. 
nice and high, nice and low, moving around as much as possible. We've got 15 seconds left. Keep it going. No stopping, no stopping. Keep it going. Those bad guys aren't stopping. You've got to keep going. Push, push, push. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Nice and high, nice and low. Keep it moving all about. Three, two, one. And relax. Four, 15 seconds rest. I'm knackered. We've got the Maya Gary. So we've got the front kick next. So remember, we're moving more. We're kicking low. We're kicking high. We're kicking middle. As much as you can. Three, two, one. Off we go, off we go. Just the front kick. Snap to the front. Kicking low. Kicking middle. Kicking high. Moving around the room. Moving as much as you can. Don't let those bad guys get you. Kick and punch all the way around. Go, 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 go. Just the front kick. Keep it up, keep it up. Spinning around. Move out of the way. Move as much as possible. Don't let them get you. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, James. Oliver's coming for you. Go, go, go. Go on, Oliver. Push, push, push. 10 seconds left. Push, push, push. All the way. Front kick. Go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Third round. We've got three to go. Hang in there. We're doing well. Last little bit now. So the next one, remember, Mwashi Gary. So it's a roundhouse kick coming round. And again, same thing. Move more. Do one low. Do one middle. Do one high. Whatever you like. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice and low. Nice and middle. Nice and high. Go, go, go. Keep moving around the room. Move as much as you can. We've got 30 seconds left. Don't stop. Those bad guys aren't stopping. They're attacking. You've got to fend them off. Push, push, push. Drive, drive, drive. All the way through. 20 seconds left. Keep it going. Oh, keep it going. Go, go, go. Keep it moving. Kick low. Kick high. Kick in the middle. Keep moving. 10 seconds. We're almost there. Push, push, push. All the way. All the way. Loving it, Kirsten and Imogen. Keep going. Come on, James. Come on, Oliver. Come on, George. Go, go. And relax there. Good work. Two rounds left. Final two rounds of 45 seconds. First one. Remember the blocks. Same again. But this time, block high. Block low. Move about more. Three, two, one. Off we go. Off we go. Blocking high. Blocking low. The punches are coming from everywhere. Blocking those kicks. Moving out the way. They're not just coming at hip height, not just coming at head height. They're coming all the way, all the way low, all the way high, blocking, moving backwards, moving out the way, keeping it up. Drive, drive, drive. We've got 20 seconds to go. Don't let them get you. Move out the way. Push, push, push. 15 seconds left. We're almost there. Then we've got one more round to go. Push, push, push. All the way. Drive, drive, drive. Nearly there. Five, four, three. Two, one, and relax there. Well done. Right, final round. Last round now. Remember, is anything you want. You can block, you can punch, you can kick. Either of the kicks. But remember, changing height. So punch high, punch low, kick low, kick high. Move around. Three, two, one. Off we go. Last one. Nice. Mixture. Punch, kick. Everywhere. Keep it going, keep it going. Don't let those bad guys get you. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to go. Push, push, push. Last one. Really finish those bad guys off. Let's go, let's go. Drive, drive, drive. 20 seconds to go. No stopping now. All the way through. All the way. Kicking, punching. Front kick. All the way. Side kick. Nice, James. Go on. Push, push, push. Almost there. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. There. Awesome work. Absolutely smashed it. Good work, guys. And yeah, definitely, Russ, I think James has got a very good workout running away from the kids. He's going to be doing that all day now. Good work, James, Oliver, George. Good work, Kirsten and Imogen. So we're going to have a quick cool down, and then we'll say bye to everyone and have a quick chat and see how everyone got on, okay? But what do we do when we finish and when we start? Can we remember? What have we got to do? We've got to bow, don't we? Nice, Kirsten and Imogen have got it. So feet together, hands by the sides, 
and just a nice bow. And what do we say? Us as a mark of respect. Good work. Nice. So just going to have a quick cool down and then we'll have a little bit of a chat. So all we're going to do for the first one is hand across the body, stretch out the shoulder a little bit, pull the shoulder in. And we're trying to take nice deep breaths here, trying to recover and let the heart rate get back to normal. Swap arms when you're ready. Always important just to have a bit of a cool down. And again, flexibility and having nice mobile joints is really important in martial arts and in karate to get those high kicks in. Nice, good work. Then we're going to bring the right leg back to the bum. Hold on to something if you need to. Hold on to a table or Oliver and George, hold on to James. <laughs> nice, good work. Stretching out that quadricep on the front. That one that helps us with kicking and change side. And we've got one more stretch to go. Doing well. Kirsten and Imogen, that's good teamwork. I like it. Good stuff. And then final stretch, we're going to stretch out the hamstring on the back of the leg. So we're going to go front leg bent, front leg straight, sorry, back leg bent. We're going to go chest towards that front leg. Keep this leg straight. You should be feeling it in the hamstring. I'll turn around so you can see. Like so. Nice bend in the hip. Stretch out the back of that leg. Good work, everyone. And change side. Last one. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good work. How is that, everyone? Are you now karate pros? Everyone was looking really good. Did we enjoy that? Give a good thumbs up. James, how did you find it? How did you find it, Oliver and George? How was it, guys? Good. Yeah. They got stitches halfway through, but they loved it. And I got stitches yeah. running away from them. Nice. It looks easier than it is, doesn't it? It's hard work. Lots of kicking. That's my old joints are ready for karate, Johnny. <laughs> I think they, I think you were lost at Rugby Sevens, James. I think this was uh, you've missed uh, you've missed it now. But this is what you should have done. You would have been amazing. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Uh, thank you, Kirsten and Imogen. Thank you, James. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you, George, so much. Hope you've had a good Saturday. Hopefully you've learned a little bit of something now. But remember, karate is about self-defense. We're not trying to go out and attack people. It's, you know, protecting people. You're a real-life superhero now. You don't want to go out with great power comes great responsibility, okay? So just be careful. Self-defense. We're not trying to go out and attack anyone. But have a relax, have a nice bit of lunch now, and enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow for a Q&A with Jessica Ennis and Vitality Coach Jamie at 12.30. And we've also got kids yoga tonight as well. So please do join in for that at 6 o'clock. See you later, James. See you, Oliver. See you, George. See you, Kirsten. See you, Imogen. Have a nice day. Bye.